Hi guys, in this video, I wanted to show you how I tore down an old carport at my rental property. And replaced it with a big, beautiful, double wide carport that's gonna be perfect for these hot summer months here in Arizona. Before we get started, if you could give me a like on the video, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's go take a look at how I built the carport. We got the trailer loaded up and now we're heading downtown Phoenix. Unload this lumber, get started on the carport build. Let's hit the road. We got the trailer unloaded. That's my friend Caleb helping out in the back. And uh, we got all the posts set up, uh, the lumber unloaded. So now we gotta get started on digging the holes for the footings and getting these six four by four posts up. Um, if you've noticed, I've painted the bottom um, because we're gonna put them straight in the ground uh, to prevent uh, moisture and rot. Caleb's doing a show for us. Um, so now we just gotta get started on measuring and uh, get work with some shovels. Right on cue, it starts to rain here. We got three holes in the ground and we got three posts to put up. The ground over here is incredibly hard. So we're having trouble digging. It's gonna take some more time, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll let the rain loosen up the ground a little bit and uh, work on getting these posts in the ground uh, while we wait. Okay, check it out. We got three posts in the ground. Everything is looking really, really nice. We got them secured in concrete and some braces on the side made out of wood. And let's take a look at how they're lining up. That is so straight, I love it. And now the ground is still incredibly hard. We're having trouble digging, um, but I think we're gonna keep at it because we gotta get these posts in the ground and then everything can start coming together. We got four posts in the ground. As you can see, it is pouring rain right now. So we're gonna take a break, have some lunch, and I'm gonna be back here another day to finish the rest of the build. All right, it's day two. I am back here bright and early so we can keep working on the carport build. The posts back here are looking really good. I need to put two more in the ground. I got one here in the middle. The lumber is covered up uh, for the rain. So it's all here ready to go. I need to start building the canopy. So let's get started. Just want to check the alignment real quick on this front and back post. It is coming out really level on this side and on this side. You can see it's lined up really well with that back post and we have five out of six in right now. Just need to throw some concrete on that one and then we can start building this canopy. Got all six posts in the ground. Let's check our alignment on these last three right here. It's looking really tight and then the back looks good as well. So now I can start getting some cross beams up and uh, now the fun part of the carport begins. 
So digging the last two holes and getting the post in took me about an hour and a half because the ground was so hard and you know, you gotta get the concrete in and all that stuff. So now I'm starting the beam process up here and uh, using wood clamps to hold the pieces in place because I'm doing it alone today. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on screwing everything together. And I got the 14 foot pieces laid out on the ground here. So let's get going. So if you take a look here, one of the tricks that I use is I built a little shelf for the uh, two by six to sit on because I'm doing this myself. So I'm trying to do it in the safest way possible. So I got multiple clamps on either side to protect the beam from falling down. And this makes sure that it's really sturdy and it's not gonna go anywhere and fall on my head. I'm on hour four of the carport build today. It's coming out perfect. I have just finished the beams at the top and all of the posts. Let's take a look at the structure behind me. I need to go around and make all the lag bolts flush to the lumber because the drill doesn't quite get it there. So I got some tightening to do and then I need to start putting some beams across the top for the rest of the canopy. So we got a little bit more work to do. Let's get going. Here's the pile of corner braces I just cut. I cut 45 degree angles on each side so it should fit nice and tight in the corner there. Again, eight of them, so four per carport. Let's get going and screwing them together.
corner braces are in. Now I just need to space out these bad boys across the top so that they're equidistant from each other. You know, I'll do some type of interval here and then I'm gonna lag bolt them in to the two by sixes here. So uh, this is a little bit of a tricky part in getting them spaced out correctly, but I've done it before. So let's get cracking. We got everything spaced out about a foot apart. Check out the pattern under here. It's overlapping every other from both sides. So just set off by about an inch. And now I have to put everything together with lag bolts. So I got a lot of screwing and drilling to do. And then we are almost done. I'm gonna be leaving the two by fours in this position because it allows for more rigidity over time uh, versus, you know, a potential sag in the middle. And I have a uh, nice long six inch drill bit here and some five and a half inch lag bolts. So that's what's gonna go uh, from the top into the two by six up here. So it should come together um, really tightly and this thing should be uh, next to indestructible. Both of my drills are now out of battery and I am out of energy. I have been here for, I think, eight hours today and I got almost everything done. So take a look at the structure behind me. We got everything spaced out and now I'm gonna come back. I need to ratchet uh, all of the lag bolts through the top down because um, my again, my, my uh, drills, <laughs> I use all the battery. So, and I'm pretty wiped right now. So I'm gonna come back um, another day and uh, just need about an hour to put some sunshades across the top uh, for that uh, very crucial shade element. And then we will be done and we can reveal the final product. After about 15 hours of work, I finally finished the double wide carport. It is probably the biggest thing I've ever built. I'm really excited about it. It's winter right now, but in the summer, the tenants are gonna love having a place to park their car where it is shady and protects from the super hot sun. Let's go take a look at the final product.